Hey everybody, Dr. Axe here along with my wife, Dr. Chelsea Axe. We don't do videos a lot together, this is we great. We don't, I know. We, we used to do a couple YouTube here and there and we, we just kind of stopped. We need to do more. I'm back! So, she's back. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about the five elements of Chinese medicine. This was kind of the first Myers-Briggs, DISC, Enneagram type yep. test and it really goes so deep into letting you know your, your tendencies and personality, but also what diseases or health problems you, you are at most risk at experiencing. It lets you know the foods that are best for you and all kinds of things, and also how you interact with other people. And it's been around for thousands of years, and so we're gonna talk about actually even our relationship today mm -hmm. between a wood and a water. So Chelsea's a water element, and uh, we're gonna talk about water, right? Yes, we are, because it's the best element. Wow, okay. I'm gonna say that. That's your three Enneagram coming out. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a win. All right, so let's talk about water elements first. So water elements, here's the thing to know. Water elements are like they sound, they're go with the flow, yep. okay? Here's the other thing, water, think about the ocean. Water elements are the deepest of all the elements, okay? They're the philosophers, they're the poets, they're the people that, well, water elements, and I can say this because uh, I live with you, yep. but water elements love to just wake up in the morning and read and pray and meditate, and they mm -hmm. can do it for hours. Not mm -hmm. all, some elements, you know, are like, I need to move, I need to go, but water elements are like, I'm okay being here with a book. And also water elements are the most introverted of all of the elements, mm -hmm. okay? Whereas fire and earth are like, man, let's party all the time. <laughs> water elements like, I'm skipping the party, I'm gonna go home and read my novel at home by myself. And so an important thing about water elements is, they have to have that time alone to recharge. They recharge by themselves, reading, meditating, <laughs> praying, doing those things, going deep. That's how they, right? Absolutely, how you... yeah. I definitely need my alone, me time, secluded, away from the party. Yeah, and you can handle, I mean, you can handle parties, you can handle friends being with people, mm -hmm. but just know you got your battery, starts to drain your battery a little bit versus recharging yourself at home. And the other thing to know about water elements, water elements are associated with the organ systems of the adrenal glands, the kidneys, and the reproductive organs. Yeah. And so we talk about your adrenal glands kind of being like a battery on your phone. Like, are your adrenals at 80, 50, 20? The adrenals kind of feed your entire body and your entire body's energy. Yeah. So it's really important for water elements that they keep their battery recharged. So as we as, as we talked about, like some, some things, I know probably mentioned several of them, but like what keeps you feeling recharged? Like what charges your battery? I mean, I think a lot of what you said, if I can, even just having that alone time, even if it's not necessarily doing anything, but not having the pressure or the feeling like um, I, people have like an expectation or it's something is required of me where I can kind of go into myself, whether that's be reading a book or sitting and watching a show by myself, but just, you know, times where I don't feel like something is pulling on me where I can kind of recharge. I mean, that's huge. Yeah, because because there, there's an element too of, hey, even if you're by yourself, but you know, hey, maybe you have guests in town or something like that, and there's something that's going to be pulling on you, mm -hmm. that can actually wear out a water element. And so mm -hmm. it's critical water elements recharge. Now let's talk about how water elements, well, let me, let me talk about the emotions, then we're gonna talk about how we interact with others. Water elements are associated with the uh, negative emotion of fear if they get out of balance, mm -hmm. okay? So it can be fear of failure. Here's a big one, fear of what other people think about them yep. and disappointing others, okay? So fear of failure, we talked about that, but, but it's the emotion of fear. And think about fear, of course, is related to the adrenal glands. Y your adrenal creates adrenaline, so it's the fight or flight response. So if your body, historically, if a bear was chasing you or or somebody was confronting you, either you're fighting or you're flying away. Mm -hmm. um, but that, again, in your adrenal battery, it starts to zap down if you live in a fight or flight state or if you have a lot of fear. And a lot of people are living with this subtle fear in their life, but fear also is associated with adrenal issues, but also reproductive issues in people, okay? So hormonal issues. This is all adrenals, it's reproductive system. Even thyroid oftentimes, even though it's up here, it's actually part of the water element and being related to uh, that area as well. So all that being said, if you're a person and you have hypothyroidism, mm -hmm. if you have adrenal fatigue, uh, fertility or hormonal issues. You really need to recharge your water element is really important. And certain foods do that. Dark foods like berries are great. Mm -hmm. Adaptogenic herbs are so important like uh, 
ashwagandha is amazing, um, ginseng, rhodiola, holy basil, all these herbs can be very, very good as well. So if a water element is healthy, they're courageous. It's actually the opposite. They're not fearful. They tend to be courageous. And the biggest thing you'll notice about a water element, if they're healthy, they give the best advice. If you want to get wisdom into your life and you want pe someone to be able to see things from a good perspective and give you sound advice, water elements are so good because water elements are patient. They're reflective. And so they actually think about these things. They don't make really fast responses. Um, and they tend to be quiet. They're introverted. So they're the sort of person where you're in a big room of people and a lot of people are trying to talk. And then the water element finally is sitting there quietly says one sentence and everyone's like, wow, that was deep. That was meaningful. That was, that was profound. And so water elements tend to be, I'm complimenting you, but all <laughs> water elements too. So, but water elements tend to be wise and courageous when they're in balance. But wisdom is that main, main characteristic. So when they're out of balance, you know, like you said, adrenals, so you get put in these situations where you're not recharging, you get to the point where all of a sudden you're in this stress state. Like, what does that even look like? Like, what are some things that I would maybe do that would like clue you in and like, oh, she needs to like recharge, like, or she hasn't had that time? You tend to get withdrawn. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, hey, I'm trying to, you know, have a conversation or talk or something. There's this level of it's being withdrawn. Mm -hmm. Or indifferent. I, mean, I can get that it, way a little bit. It's almost like, like, I don't also say it, it's a turtle. It's like you're going back into your shell, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, but withdrawn, indifferent. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. another good word, but that's yeah. that's what happens. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk about how we interact. Yes, let's. I'm a wood, you're a water. Now, something to know about, just bring it back to how water elements nourish. Like me being a wood element, mm -hmm. I probably spend the most time with, and not to say the other elements aren't good for me, but if I'm looking to um, like, recharge my battery as a wood, I spend the most time with waters. And then with, with some earths too. Um, sort of think about a tree, like tree plants the roots down in earth and the soil, but they get fed by water, okay? And so it's important. Now, of course, like anything, you have too much water if there's flooding. Uh, trees are pretty resi resilient, but that being said, water, water helps feed. And so we have, an we, we, we have a good relationship, especially in that like Chelsea to me is so encouraging. She gives so much sound and wise advice. Now, sometimes I listen to it immediately. Sometimes it takes me two days or two years. I eventually usually come around though, right? Eventually. Eventually. So anyways, but uh, so for us, it's I, I get a lot of sound advice. I get encouraged. I get supported so much by the water element. Mm -hmm. Now water elements, because they're so go with the flow, what element? I'm a planner. Mm -hmm. So I have not just the next day, but the next 30 years planned out already. Mm -hmm. um, we go on a trip. I have a plan. And so all that being to said. To the extreme, like I'll be doing something. He's like, oh my goodness, you hit a goal. I'm like, I didn't know I had a goal. Like he's set yeah. this so much structure for me that I'm not even aware of. But it's great because, you know, I won't do that myself. So I'm just like, it's a good day. Like we'll figure it out as we go. And he's like, oh no, we'll actually be here at 4.30 p.m. And then we'll move on to this. And. It's great. It works. Well, yeah, and and I think wood elements now metal elements are definitely more structured and yes. systematized. For you're just for, more of like the visualization plan. We have to get to here. I don't care. Hey, we can go here. We get it. Mm -hmm. We have to be here. Yeah, this is where we have to be at six p.m. Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about water. So 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 water and wood. That's kind of how they interact together. They're and all elements are so nourishing for each other if there's healthy and there's balance yeah. there. Um, let's talk about water and sort of the next thing. Let's talk about metal, okay? Water and metal, again, the thing to know about water, if water is unhealthy too, they're kind of all over the place. Mm -hmm. Metal gives boundaries. Mm -hmm. That's the thing to know. It's like a, a water, water and earth are the worst at this of just saying yes to people mm -hmm. because water elements can fear of disappointing others if they say no. Mm -hmm. Earth elements are just all in on everything and want to make other people happy and say yes. So anyways, all that being said, Metal elements are so healthy for water because it creates, it creates boundaries, yeah. you know? And so um, that's, uh, and, and the other thing too, you know, I think if there's a lot of, um, if a water is really unhealthy with a metal, there's rust, right? It literally yeah. starts to break down the walls of the metal because metals need, they, they, they thrive. Metals in balance and structure, but there's too much water constantly there and they're not healthy themselves and it can start to break down those walls and create chaos. Mm -hmm. which chaos for a metal will eat them alive. So let's talk about earth, earth and, earth, earth and, uh, earth and metal, so, or, or earth and water. So earth and water together, you have a lot of times creativity too with that. 
Think about making pottery, okay? It's a mixture of clay, it's a mixture of water, and you're, you're creating something there uh, together. Let's talk about what's the other one we're missing, fire, right? Fire. Um, now you got a real, Steph, mm -hmm. who's a total good friends. fire. She's a fire. Mm -hmm. Great fire. The thing is, like, w w waters, like, like fire, they are the people that are uh, a lot of times leading revolutions. They're inspiring, creating community. They're firing people up. That's the biggest thing. You want to creating passion in people, firing people up. There's a really healthy balance there because water elements a lot of times are kind of like, I just want to, you know, sit back and just kind of chill out. Where fire elements are like, man, I just want to go. And they bring such, water and fire bring such balance to each other because, again, water elements, they need to get out and do stuff. They need to, their wisdom needs to be used by the world, okay? But, and fires can, in a way, be fed by water to where it's like, okay, I'm taking your wisdom. I see that you're patient. I need to maybe chill out a little bit. Uh, to balance out their passion, their fire, and constant community. But again, fires are the most extroverted. Waters are the most introverted. And again, it's one of those things where if they're both unhealthy, it could really it, it can cause some conflict. Yeah. Because waters are like, I don't want to, especially I think about this in a marriage. If you have a water and a fire, the waters just want to stand and read a book every night of the week. And the fires want to go out and have an adventure every single night a lot of times. Yeah. So anyways, all that being said, but there is something to be said about all of us, here's the other truth, all of us are all five elements. Mm -hmm. You have your dominant element, most people are really strongly one element, but sometimes you're one and you have a little bit of a secondary element, but all of us need these balances. All of us need some structure in our lives from a metal. All of us need some planning mm -hmm. and vision in our life from, from, from woods. All of us need some time of reflection and wisdom and meditation and prayer of waters. All of us need to light things on fire and have adventure and fun <laughs> in our lives from the fires. And all of us need a hug and joy and happiness that, that bring the earth. And so all of yeah. us need that in our life. It's just some of us need more to feed us specifically based on our unique, unique characteristics. Yeah, that makes sense. I love that. So remember these things. We talked about this. Um, the foods for the, for, for, the, uh, for the water element are dark foods that are nutrient dense. It's berries. It's figs. It's, it's figs. It's pomegranate seeds. It's those dark blues and purples especially. And then it's dark green. It's spinach. It's seaweed. It's foods from the ocean. It's wild caught fish. Think water element. Yeah. These things are most important for nourishing. And then the adaptogenic herbs that support the adrenals are very, very key. And then it's important that water elements recharge. They do that through reading, through prayer, through reflection, and going deep. Mm -hmm. Right? Going deep is key. Going deep is key. Yeah. And, and this actually, these are associated with seasons. Like the winter time is the most important time, especially for a water element to yeah. go deep. And spending time, um, you know, spending time before spring, which is like goal setting and all those sorts of things. But winter is that time of reflection and thinking about the, the new year and that sort of thing. Yeah. Absolutely. I love the winner. I love my water element. She's awesome. She nourishes <laughs> me. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video series. We really have loved talking about the five elements of Chinese medicine and, uh, and how it relates to your personality, how you interact with others, mm -hmm. to your health, things you need to be conscious of. And hey, if you want to learn more, make sure to uh, do some research on whether it's DrAx.com or just search five elements of Chinese medicine mm -hmm. in your element uh, to learn more. So thanks so much. And go uh, find out what you are. It's so fun to learn and figure out what fun. you can yeah. do to help nourish take, yourself. Take the TCM. We have a quiz. If you want to take our five elements quiz, make sure to take it to find out which element you are. Yeah. Thanks, guys.